Okay guys, so we are back in our geometric logo worksheet and right now we are going to work on the Spotify logo. So I'll set my default colors here, give myself just a black stroke. And let's go ahead and zoom in on our Spotify logo. And I want to create this logo using some circles. First one I'm going to draw is the outermost circle here, just like that. And then I'll actually zoom out a little bit because these shapes inside the circle are actually just portions of bigger circles. So I'm going to start to draw a bigger circle here. And you'll see as I line up that top portion of it, what I mean. Okay, so there we have one of our circles and you'll see how it lines up with that white curve in the Spotify logo. Now I want to copy that and paste it in place. So it's in the exact same spot. And then I'm gonna scale it using this shift tool so that it remains a nice perfect circle. I'm also gonna hold down the alt key so that it scales from the center. So that I have that circle there. And then I'm gonna do the same with that circle. So I'll copy it, paste in place, and I'll scale it down again, holding the shift key and the alt key to get that shape there. So now that I have those parts of the circle in place, I'm gonna use my pen tool. I'm gonna draw a line down the side here. Maybe add a bit of a curve to it so that I'll get my cutoff point of where I don't want those shapes to be. Back up to the top here. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do with that shape is I'm gonna cut away all of this circle except for the part that's inside it. But I wanna do the same thing for each of the three circles. So I'm gonna edit and copy and then paste in place once and paste in place one more time. So I have three of them now. And now I'm going to select that shape in my first circle and open my Pathfinder tool. And I'm going to use this one here, the intersect. And that's going to keep just what is inside of where they're overlapping. Just like that. I'll do it again for this circle. And one last time for this circle. So I have my three shapes there. I'm gonna use my white arrow tool. I'm gonna select these points at the bottom that I don't want and hit delete. Again down here and hit delete. And you'll see now I have my three nice curved lines there. Now I wanna go into my windows. I'm gonna find the stroke window. I'm going to open that up and show some options here. You'll see that I have a whole bunch of options for what this stroke or outline is going to look like. So first thing I'll do is bump up the weight. It's actually a little bit bigger for the top two. So I'll bump it up just like that. Let's select all three again. And now I want to change the caps to that rounded cap. And you'll see how it kind of fills out that shape there. Now I can go up to Object, Path, and Outline Stroke to turn them into shapes. And I can fill them in white. And I can grab my outer circle here and fill it in with the green. Last thing I want to do is select all the elements of this logo object and group and there's my Spotify logo.